Unfortunately, your Excel skills have backed you into a corner. There's nowhere else to turn. There's only one thing for it. You need to turn text into a formula. What? That sounds crazy. I know, I know, but stick with me. This isn't your typical everyday Excel solution. This is where you go where you've got nothing else to try. So how can we turn text into a formula? Let's find out. Here we are in Excel. Let's start with a simple example. We have cells with the values of one plus one, and then we've used the concat formula to get that together into a single text value. Seriously, dude, just type equals one plus one into a cell as a standard formula and be done with it. That's not the point. We're looking at concepts here and then seeing how we can then apply it to different scenarios. Now Excel has a language built in, which is called Excel for macros. This is an older language which isn't used anymore, but it still works. And within that language, we have the evaluate function. Evaluate takes text and based on that text, it calculates a result. Unfortunately, in Excel, if I type equals evaluate, open bracket, I'll select the text and then close that bracket what happens is that we get an error message. So evaluate doesn't work correctly by itself. But what if we added our evaluate function inside a Lambda function inside a named range? That sounds crazy, right? Let's go and take a look. So I'll go to formulas and then define name. And I'm going to call this FX text to formula. Then in the refers to equals Lambda open bracket, the first argument will be a string. And then we're going to pass that into our evaluate. And then we're going to use the string. Now, because we need to make sure that our formula calculates correctly, we need to make this a volatile function. Just like indirect is a function that takes text and converts it to a range, that's a volatile function. We need to do the same with our function that turns text and turns it into a formula. To do that, we're going to add the T function. So that extracts any text and we're going to use inside that the now function. So that's going to get the current date and time, which doesn't contain any text. Therefore, this T and now function combination is going to return an empty text string, but it does change it into a volatile function. So we'll close our evaluate and then we'll close our Lambda and press return. Okay, let's try this out. Equals FX. We can see our function there. FX text the formula. We'll select cell C5. Close that bracket. Boom, look at that. It calculates the correct result. That is fantastic. We've now created our own function to turn text into a formula. Hi there, I'm Mark from Excel Off The Grid. That's the place where we teach people how to reclaim huge amounts of time by automating Excel. So if you want to save a lot of time, why not head over to excelfthegrid.com and check out our training courses. Now you might be thinking, when on earth are you ever going to use this? So let's go and look at a use case that you might actually need. So here in Excel, I have a table with item and region and also value. Down here, I have the filter criteria that I want to apply to this table. And then I've created a filter function using this criteria. So that means that now I've got this filter function as text, I can use our FX text to formula. So far, this might not sound that useful, but in the filter function, we can't have a variable number of conditions, unless of course, we use our FX text to formula. So here I can add another condition, a value where it's less than or equal to 25. And now our filter function updates. We can also use it with text where region is equal to south. Look at that, we now have Everything where the value is bigger than 15, the value is less than or equal to 25, and the region is south. So into our filter function, we've been able to add multiple conditions using our FX text to formula function as the method that evaluates our formula. We're not finished yet. If the concept of using a Lambda and an Excel for macro just seems too crazy, or possibly you don't have the right version of Excel, I've got another solution for you, which uses a VBA user defined function. 
So let's head over into the Visual Basic Editor. I'm going to select my workbook and then click Insert Module. This creates a new code module and I'm going to paste the code in. So this creates our function and our function is called FX Text to Formula UDF and it is text, so it accepts text as an argument. We then make that function volatile and then we declare what the result of that function should be. And that uses the application.caller.parent.evaluate. So that's the same function as we used inside our Lambda. And that's it. We can now head back to Excel and then we can use our FX, you can see there, text to formula UDF, open bracket, let's select our original cell, close that bracket, press return, and that also calculates that value for us. So there we have it. We have a Lambda method and a VBA method. For both of these solutions, we do need to save them as macro enabled workbooks. So they need to be saved as .xlsm files. At the start, you probably thought the idea of converting text to a formula seemed crazy, but actually there might be a really good use case. If you enjoyed this video, why not click here to subscribe? And if you want some more Excel fun, that's the place you need to go to. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.